A beautiful view on your screen this morning, the rolling hills of KwaZulu-Natal. Um, I think, you know, whenever you see pictures of KwaZulu-Natal and you see those uh, those beautiful green rolling villages and uh, the valleys of KZN, this is exactly what you do picture in your mind. And here we are getting that picture for you. I mean, even the picture that I have in front of me, it actually doesn't matter which view you have a look at. It's absolutely magnificent to be here this morning. And this is the launch of uh, National Water Week and water of course being one of the most precious resources that uh, anybody could ask for uh, it doesn't matter where you are and who you are in the world that is something that every single one of us desperately needs and the thing is is that in this area uh, with droughts there is a severe water shortage but uh, hopefully with the introduction and the handing over of this dam that we are covering here today this is going to bring a lot of relief for the community members you heard from one of the farmers and I must say uh, he is holding a lot of hope out that this dam is going to give his business a lot of uh, of relief because at this point they're only reliant entirely on rainwater and the last time they had good rains in this area was a very very long time ago and as we enter into the dry season you can only imagine that that is going to to even hamper the businesses a lot more now let me just explain a little bit more to you I know that in studio they've been saying that we're broadcasting from Kwadakuza we're not in Kwadakuza guys let me tell you where we are we're about 30 k's outside of Kwadakuza now, Kwadakuza, of course, is it, that encompasses Stanga. Uh, it's all part of the Alemba District Municipality, but that's, uh, that has got Stanga, Belito, Shaka Rock, all of those municipalities. But where we are this morning is in Mapomulo. So that's about 30 kilo uh, kilometers outside of Stanga, and that's where we're positioned right now. Well, I'll tell you somebody who knows the boundaries a lot better than I do, and uh, that, of course, is the mayor of this particular uh, district municipality. This is the Alemba Municipality. Welcome, Mdabe. It's good to be in your municipality. Thank you very much for having us. I'm not going to welcome you. You should welcome me. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lien, and welcome to the viewers of SAPC uh, uh, 2. Uh, you are most welcome to be in Ilembe. Thank you very, very much. It's a pleasure to be here. Joining us as well on the program is a beneficiary of, uh, of this dam. Now, I have to tell you, a number of families were actually relocated for the construction of this dam. Seven households, uh, to be precise. And uh, Mama Sibia was part of one of those families that was relocated, and she's going to talk to us a bit later. Mama Sibia, welcome. Also lovely to have you. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. First, Mayor, let us begin with you. Um, having this, I mean, this is now, it's been around um, five months that you made the announcement that this is going to be handed over. We're officially having the handover ceremony today. What do you believe this is going to do for the community? Thank you very much, uh, Lien. Uh, I must be very thankful to SAPC as well as uh, the Department uh, of Water and Sanitation uh, and the partnership that we have uh, with Umgeni Water for the construction of uh, the Umvojane Dam as well as uh, the treatment plant where we are standing right now. Um, we have almost 120,000 population in this municipality that would be beneficiaries of the construction and the operation of this dam and the treatment plant yeah. uh, to the tune of close to about 500 million. Yes. So, I mean, I, we've spoken to farmers um, that are really resting their hopes that this will turn their business around. Community members are hoping that this will also bring them much needed relief. I mean, when you look at uh, at this area, 50% of the population haven't got access to, 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 to water um, at this point in time. So tell me a little bit about it. I mean, bringing relief into the community, how is it going to help? Well, Lien, uh, the community in this municipality, it has about 11 wards and uh, all these 11 wards would be benefi uh, benefiting uh, in this uh, uh, construction of the dam as well as uh, the treatment plant. Over and above that, it's the farmers uh, that uh, are surrounding the area within uh, uh, Mapumulo. The challenge that we are currently facing is the drought. Yeah. As we build the dam, uh, it's currently very low uh, in terms of supply because of uh, the drought. However, uh, we are anticipating and hopeful that uh, when the rain comes, uh, it will solve the entire uh, uh, challenges. Yeah. But it's not only the social uh, benefit in terms of water consumption to the communities. We are unlocking as well the economic potential 
uh, there are industries that has had a, a, an appetite to come and invest in those that are heavy industries, like uh, one of the titanium in the one area called uh, Mambulu, uh, that they want to establish a smelter plant. So we are in, in those discussions, we therefore said that we would need to make sure that there is infrastructure as a catalyst for economic development and the small businesses that would then benefit in the value chain. So it would assist the communities here to uplift them socially as well as economically. Yeah. There's been a lot of protests in the area. I mean, even to the point where some of the community members have not allowed the water tankers to actually enter into it. I mean, we've seen some of the wards in Kwadukuza, that's Hazelmere, Hazelmere Dam, uh, Ndwedwe, Mamapula, where we are right now. Um, you know, it, 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 it hasn't been a nice situation. How have you been dealing with the situation? Mm -hmm. Well, we, we had to do a lot of consultation because some of the communities that where we have then installed the reticulation have stand pipes in some areas we had the uh, house connections but that infrastructure was not producing water due to drought so we had therefore then to come up with a plan as a municipality to say that we are faced with a drought therefore we would have to adjust our budget so as to make sure that we provide water through water tankers unfortunately it's a very expensive exercise yeah. but we had to do it we were <coughs> collecting water from Utugela River treatment plant where in Sundumbili. That water, we had to uh, uh, deliver it to the community through water tankers. That is about 150 kilometers away from where we are. It's a cost on its own. However, the challenge has been that communities, when we engage with them, they said, look, we don't want to go and fetch water in the water tanks. We want water from our pipes because we have water in our, uh, we have infrastructure that should be providing water to us. The challenge is that we couldn't treat water because there was no water. Yeah. And we had to do a lot of public engagement and public scoping. In fact, we, we suspended everything that we are supposed to do just to engage with the community who were uh, protesting. Mm -hmm. uh, on the basis that there is no water in the fr infrastructure that we provided them. Yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Let me, let me bring one of the beneficiaries now into the conversation. I introduced Mama Sebia a bit earlier. Uh, May if, if you don't yes, mind sure. just helping me a bit with, with right. translation. Um, uh, Mama Sebia, how, how bad has it been to get water? Um, the situation, the water shortages here in the area? Yes, Katima Manz in Agabina or Lana, Begu, Guganan, you would take a man's Benuatola Wupi, and the Yenebenianza was in was within Puzamas. Oh, Tinas is that is a man's at the Swalapa, a Kaya, a Gala, is a man's is your Tolangan, a got or a Tumazaka, got a manger, Genesis Kupogi, Levas Tata, Nanazami, Basibegala, as I said to Zana Manzi, Sissi Locuzi, the Bas Tutarat, Sakel and Zin Yonkinto, the Matu, Nabas Tatelona, Basibegarat, Kulumen. It has been very difficult life for all of us because we were fetching water in the river, and sometimes the river is dry. We would have to go and look for water somewhere about two, three kilometers away. Yeah. But now, with the construction of the dam and the treatment plant that is giving us water here, yeah. we are very much appreciative. I am the one of the people that were relocated so that would give space for the dam to be constructed, yeah. and. It, as we are living in rural areas, we bury our love dance where we live. But all that was taken into account. We are very much appreciative to government in terms of what has done for us. Good. And then just finally, uh, do, do you like your new house? The new house that you moved to? We are Tanda Lindu, Enjoa Kelwayon. I call the call in Tanda Kool, and she's got the good one. I'm going to go to the house. Good. Good. I'm very much appreciative of what government has done. I'm very much enjoying my new big house. Oh, I'm so happy. I can, I can see that. I can see that. Mama Sylvia, thank you for being with us. Mayor, thank you. Good luck with today. I hope that this really brings some much needed relief into this area as well. Thank you. Thank you very much. I think much. so too. All right, well, there you go. Let's go back to the Johannesburg studio. Vale.